Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba' Ayol ahbab Every one of us wants to go to Jannah Every one of us wants to go to paradise This is what Our goal is as believers and Allah has commanded us to worship Him and Him alone and to avoid shirk, to avoid polytheism. And many other things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam have commanded us to do and told us to avoid. Let's listen to a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about three people who will not enter paradise. Wa'iyadhim billah. May Allah protect us from being amongst those people and our families. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. An Abi Musa, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ثلاثة لا يدخلون جنة مدمن الخمر والقاطع الرهم ومصدق بالسهر رواه أحمد وابن حبان في صحيح أبي موسى رضي الله تعالى عنه he reported that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Three people will not enter paradise. The one who makes alcohol. And the one who breaks the ties of kinship. And the one who believes in magic. And this was narrated or collected in Muslim Imam Ahmed and Ibn Hiban. In Sahih Ibn Hiban. Ayol Ahbab, avoiding those actions and those sins is imperative for us as believers. Stay away from drinking alcohol, from transporting alcohol, and from, of course, making alcohol. Because the, the one who manufactures it is contributing to all of that. He's the, he's the one who provides for all of it. He manufactures it, then it's sold or it's drank and drunkenness and all the other problems that arise from that. And the Prophet والسلام, said, this one will not enter Jannah. And the second one is the one who breaks the ties of kinship. So do everything possible. And I know this from personal experience, that sometimes you have relatives that are hard to get, away, get along with, that argue with you every time, or attack you and curse you even. But strive your best to be the better of them, and at least, even if it's after some time, try to establish that tie again. Call them, check on them. They cursed you out, I know. But establish that. Try to be gentle with them. And may Allah bless us all to be better in that. Amin. And the third one that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, was the person who believes in witchcraft or magic or any of those type of dark arts as they call them. Ayol Ahbab, because sihr and magic is so serious, we should avoid, avoid, avoid it in 
in every respect. Don't watch it. Definitely don't seek it out and participate in it. And even as we know that one of the du'at out there, which is well known, it's all over the internet, that he was illustrating some something in his dawah and he was doing some magic tricks maybe to show the falsehood of it but it would be better for him at least no one is saying you know the people say what they say about him and we we'll leave that to the ulama and hopefully the brother has moved away from that activity because at least even if he's trying to show that it's something bad that this is not befitting for someone who's calling to kitab wa sunnah to a da'i it's not befitting to even to illustrate those things it's not necessary to go that far because then you get into some doubtful things that perhaps could even lead you out of the fold of Islam or or cause you to incur sin at least so it's better to avoid that and as we said, the Prophet ﷺ said, the one who believes in magic, believes in the magician, will not enter paradise. So that's a serious warning. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be the first to enter paradise and forgive us of our sins and help us to be better believers in Him and to be of those who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who harb, who harb bid'ah who fight bid'ah, because bid'ah is, is what attacks the Qur'an and the Sunnah. It attacks the interpretation, the correct interpretation of the Qur'an and the Sunnah, and the correct practice of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. So we have to fight it, ayyul ahbab. It's, it's just what we have to do. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq, forgive us, bless us with ikhlas, with tabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.